Rules for thee, but not for me, is the tune coming from the feds right now as Joe Biden is pushing a plan to mandate vaccines for federal workers. Suddenly, federal workers all have a massive problem with mandatory vaccines. Let's talk about it. I'm Nick Riccada of Riccada Law, a small law firm in central Minnesota. I'm a lawyer. I'm also a legal and political commentator on YouTube and on Odyssey, wherever you're watching. Hit like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Don't miss any videos. All right. Biden's planned vaccine rule meets resistance from large groups of federal workers. Groups representing law enforcement, postal workers, and IRS managers all issue statements raising concerns about a government mandate. Not just them. Also teachers unions. See, it it turns out that it's it's really strange when you mandate something, people suddenly have a resistance to it. They're like, wait a minute now. Like, okay. You know, I'm cool with the thing, but now that the government's telling me I have to do it, I'm not the biggest fan. Let's take a peek at this. This is killing me. This is this is great because this is what I've been saying all along. Hey, how about you just don't make it mandatory, though? Like, just, just let people make the choice. Like, let them talk to their healthcare provider and let them get the information that you put out. You know, you can put out your cool government information or whatever, and then people can just make their own decisions, almost like freedom exists or like liberty or something. But recently we've got a, a DOJ letter saying that they're determining. Now this doesn't mean much other than it's what they determined. The DOJ has determined that vaccine mandates are perfectly legal, both in the private sector and the public sector. Now the DOJ isn't a court. They don't get to make that final decision. However, that is the government's official position that came out just a couple days ago. And now we've got to push for an executive mandate on federal workers being vaccinated. President Biden's expected announcement of a vaccine mandate for federal workers has splintered groups representing large numbers of employees, raising questions about compliance and enforcement as the White House attempts to arrest the spread of COVID-19's Delta variant. Some sectors of the federal workforce, including groups of disparate, as disparate as law enforcement officers and postal workers, raised immediate concerns about the requirement, sending an early signal of looming problems. Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association, which represents more than 26,000 feds, has blasted the idea, saying that it believes requiring vaccines represented an infringement on civil rights. Quote, there will be a lot of pushback. It's going to be an avalanche, President Larry Cosme said, warning that many of the group's members at the Department of Justice and Department of Homeland Security would be very opposed. Rather than try to force employees to get vaccines, Cosme said, the government could offer financial or other incentives to, to the employees that get vaccinated. Similarly, American Postal Workers Union said that it was opposed to the mandatory vaccines for postal workers, saying in a statement late Wednesday that politics Policies about the vaccination testing must be negotiated individually with the union. But this all goes to the root of the issue. The federal government is trying to force people to be vaccinated. They're trying to mandate it. And people are saying, wait a minute. I thought I had medical autonomy. I thought that was between me and my doctor. I thought my decisions were my decisions. And the interesting thing about that is, you know, vaccination tends to benefit the person specifically. And what happened to things like personal responsibility and accountability? Those are long gone. Those are long gone in 2021 America. You don't get to make those decisions for yourself, but don't worry. The government is here to make its decisions for you or make your decisions for you. You know, whatever you want is, is irrelevant now because the government knows what you need and they will give it to you no matter what. So there you go. That's uh, Biden's expected to make an announcement that federal vaccine or federal employees will need mandatory vaccines. And we've seen private employers all over the country starting to say this. People are not happy about it. There's going to be lawsuits. And the unfortunate thing is, on the private side anyway, a lot of those lawsuits are going to fail. We haven't seen a public sector lawsuit on this yet. And the question of whether the federal government can compel its workers to give a vaccine is not as simple as the DOJ makes it out to be. I'm just glad I'm self-employed. I still get to make my own decisions. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.